it's Paula from Fairly Chic Emporium and today we're doing this plate rack which actually started life as the top of a dresser. My husband's put a new bit of wood on the bottom so that it makes sense of the bottom. But I think it'll make a lovely plate rack, it's got hooks and everything on it. So the idea so far is um, I'm going to use up some Dove which is an absolutely gorgeous pretty colour. And I've got some B stencils and I've got some number stencils. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet but that's the plan. So. First things first, we're going to cover it all in the um, dove. I expect it will take a couple of coats and then we'll come back and see what we're going to do then. Okay? Right, so we've done two coats of the dove. It looks lovely. And I'm up to the stenciling. Now, this stencil was a square and I've cut it up so that it fits in easier. I think it's absolutely fine to do that. One trick with stenciling, you, you must need use a stencil brush, no other brush will do. And I've put a bit of masking tape around it to hold the end of the brushes tight together so they don't splay. That helps it stop going underneath the edges. So I'm going to use Arctic, which is the, the dregs left from the previous project. So I'm going to just less is more, get off any excess, and then just go up and down in the area. I have masking taped it down so it doesn't move. I had a, a query about whether or not to do it in acrylics or in chalk paint. Obviously both are absolutely fine, but I decided that I might not want this quite as bold. It might be quite nice to have it quite faded and vintagey looking, um, which acrylics would be harder because it comes out a much bolder colour. So we went with chalk. like this face down so that you've got gravity on your side it does help to stop the bleeding don't dilute the paint you don't want it any waterier than it is otherwise you'll stand the risk of it bleeding it's better to do two coats thin once like that. I'll then do my number then I'll go back and go back over it again a second time. straight away, you don't have to wait for it to dry. And there is some patchiness in there but when it's dry I'm going to sand it to age it. That looks just lovely. So I'm going to carry on, I'm going to do a number two and a number three and then I'm also going to use these bees and I'm not going to use it in that uniformed way, I'm just going to do random single bees flying around my piece. So when we finish I'll show you what it all looks like. Um, shouldn't take too long at all. Okay. Right, we've finished. This was such a simple and relatively quick project, um, mainly because we painted it all one colour and didn't do the shelves different. Um, so that went on really quickly. And then this just simple idea of the stencil doing one B to tally with number one and two and three, etc. Thank you. I love it. The simplicity of it is great. All it needs um, to completely finish it off is a clear coat of wax. And it's done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll try mix and matching some stencils and not just using them as they are. Be not, don't be afraid to cut them up and use different bits of it because it works. Here's the evidence. Until the next time, thank you very much.